grew up here, uh, and I've lived through a lot of disasters. Anybody who's <clears throat> grown up here has had to live through many, many disasters. And I'm not just talking about Isla Vista during Halloween. Well, we tried to bring together uh, first responders, uh, nonprofits, utilities, everybody that you'd need to meet to know how to react to a natural disaster. And uh, we covered the breadth of different kinds of natural disasters. But of course, I thought of it because I grew up here uh, and you know experienced the Painted Cave Fire as a teenager. That's sort of instilled in me from a very early age uh, the, that we need to be ready. And you guys are really part of that. You know, um, you guys are the ones standing really in the front line when it comes to making sure that we don't get complacent and that we are prepared. Uh, we live in a place where natural disaster is just a matter of time. Uh, it's not uh, if, but when, uh, and that we need to be prepared as a community. And we need to be prepared individually as our households. So some of the things that I thought were particularly valuable is having the actual mechanics of how to turn off your gas. We're here today to uh, help out in the emergency preparedness by showing everyone how to turn off a gas meter. So if you hear the natural gas, and of course natural gas is odorized, so it has a very peculiar smell to it of the rotten eggs, the sulfur smell. If you hear the gas or you smell the gas, it's time to go outside and turn off the gas meter for safety's sake. The complete things of the kind of proper uh, emergency uh, kit you know, both first aid, um, the basic ways to purify water, um, and uh, all the different kinds of resources and ways that you can be prepared so that if you're hurt, other people can know how to help you. Uh, as well as, uh, you know, how do first responders do some of this work? Uh, tools like this that you see behind me, um, all the way uh, from that um, to the antiquated um, methods of reacting with things like a, a teletype as an example they have here um, or uh, things that are not usually used now uh, but um, can be in the case of uh, all our cellular capability being knocked out by cam radio systems. Uh, the Goleta Valley Community Center is getting, getting filled up with lots of citizens learning about preparedness everything from uh, from animal pre pet preparedness to um, uh, the use of uh, hand radios, etc. A, a great um, uh, you know, community effort put on here by DOS. Coming here, looking at what's available here, will give you some idea of how you can make yourself ready for that earthquake and be able to take care of the people you love. And if you didn't attend, we'll give you some information. Come by to our district offices. We have two of them, one in uh, Santa Barbara at Anapamu and Chapala, the other one in Oxnard. Uh, at the second floor of the Transportation Center, and they, you can get some of this information right there from, from my staff. Mm -hmm.